Narwhal. The narwhal or narwhal is a medium-sized toothed whale that possesses a large tusk from a protruding canine tooth. It lives year-round in the Arctic waters around Greenland, Canada, and Russia. It is one of two living species of whale in the family Monodontidae, along with the beluga whale. The narwhal males are distinguished by a long, straight, helical tusk, which is an elongated upper left canine. The narwhal was one of many species described by Carl Linnaeus in his publication Systema Naturae in 1758. Like the beluga, narwhals are medium-sized whales. For both sexes, excluding the male's tusk, the total body size can range from 3.95 to 5.5 meters, the males are slightly larger than the females. The average weight of an adult narwhal is 800 to 1,600 kg. At around 11 to 13 years old, the males become sexually mature, females become sexually mature at about 5 to 8 years old. Narwhals do not have a dorsal fin, and their neck vertebrae are jointed like those of most other mammals, not fused as in dolphins and most whales. Found primarily in Canadian Arctic and Greenlandic and Russian waters, the narwhal is a uniquely specialized Arctic predator. In winter, it feeds on benthic prey, mostly flatfish, under dense pack ice. During the summer, narwhals eat mostly Arctic cod and Greenland halibut, with other fish such as polar cod making up the remainder of their diet. Narwhals normally congregate in groups of about 5 to 10, and sometimes up to 20 individuals outside the summer. Groups may be nurseries with only females and young, or can contain only post-dispersal juveniles or adult males, but mixed groups can occur at any time of year. In the summer, several groups come together, forming larger aggregations which can contain from 500 to over 1,000 individuals. At times, a bull narwhal may rub its tusk with another bull, a display known as tusking and thought to maintain social dominance hierarchies. However, this behavior may exhibit tusk use as a sensory and communication organ for sharing information about water chemistry sensed in tusk microchannels. Each year, they migrate from bays into the ocean as summer comes. In the winter, the male narwhals occasionally dive up to 1,500 meters in depth, with dives lasting up to 25 minutes. Narwhals, like most toothed whales, communicate with clicks, whistles, and knocks. Narwhals can live up to 50 years. They are often killed by suffocation after being trapped due to the formation of sea ice. Other causes of death, specifically among young whales, are starvation and predation by orcas. As previous estimates of the world narwhal population were below 50,000, narwhals are categorized by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, as nearly threatened. More recent estimates list higher populations, thus lowering the status to least concern. Narwhals have been harvested for hundreds of years by Inuit people in northern Canada and Greenland for meat and ivory, and a regulated subsistence hunt continues. Description Narwhals are medium-sized whales, and are around the same size as beluga whales. Total length in both sexes, excluding the tusk of the male, can range from 3.95 to 5.5 meters. Males, at an average length of 4.1 meters, are slightly larger than females, with an average length of 3.5 meters. Typical adult body weight ranges from 800 to 1,600 kg. Male narwhals attain sexual maturity at 11 to 13 years of age, when they are about 3.9 meters long. Females become sexually mature at a younger age, between 5 and 8 years old, when they are around 3.4 meters long. The pigmentation of narwhals is a mottled pattern, with blackish-brown markings over a white background. They are darkest when born and become whiter with age, white patches develop on the navel and genital slit at sexual maturity. Old males may be almost pure white. Narwhals do not have a dorsal fin, possibly an evolutionary adaptation to swimming easily under ice, to facilitate rolling, or to reduce surface area and heat loss. Instead narwhals possess a shallower dorsal ridge. Their neck vertebrae are jointed, like those of land mammals, instead of being fused together as in most whales, allowing a great range of neck flexibility. Both these characteristics are shared by the beluga whale. The tail flukes of female narwhals have front edges that are swept back, and those of males have front edges that are more concave and lack a sweep back. This is thought to be an adaptation for reducing drag caused by the tusk. Tusk. The most conspicuous characteristic of the male narwhal is a single long tusk, which is in fact a canine tooth that projects from the left side of the upper jaw, through the lip, and forms a left-handed helix spiral. The tusk grows throughout life, reaching a length of about 1.5 to 3.1 meters. 
It is hollow and weighs around 10 kg. About 1 in 500 males has two tusks, occurring when the right canine also grows out through the lip. Only about 15% of females grow a tusk which typically is smaller than a male tusk, with a less noticeable spiral. Scientists have long speculated on the biological function of the tusk. Proposed functions include use of the tusk as a weapon, for opening breathing holes in sea ice, in feeding, as an acoustic organ, and as a secondary sex character. The leading theory has long been that the narwhal tusk serves as a secondary sex character of males, for non-violent assessment of hierarchical status on the basis of relative tusk size. However, detailed analysis reveals that the tusk is a highly innovated sensory organ with millions of nerve endings connecting seawater stimuli in the external ocean environment with the brain. The rubbing of tusks together by male narwhals is thought to be a method of communicating information about characteristics of the water each has traveled through, rather than the previously assumed posturing display of aggressive male-to-male -male rivalry. In August 2016, drone videos of narwhals surface feeding in Tremblay Sound, Nunavut showed that the tusk was used to tap and stun small arctic cod, making them easier to catch for feeding. It's important to note, however, that the tusk cannot serve a critical function for narwhal's survival because females, who generally do not have tusks, still manage to live longer than males and occur in the same areas. Therefore, the general scientific consensus is that the narwhal tusk is a sexual trait, much like the antlers of a stag, the mane of a lion, or the feathers of a peacock. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.